Every once in a while, I pick up a book that is so compelling that I just can't put it down until I reach the last page. Every reader knows the feeling. You sit down to start a brand new book, planning to read a chapter or two, and suddenly you are on the last page. In today's video, I bring to you 10 unput downable books that I have recently read. Stay tuned. <laughs> I am Shalu. Welcome to my channel where I post videos related to books. If you are new here, then do subscribe to my channel for new bookish videos every week. Recently I read some pretty amazing books. The kind that keep you up all night because you are completely engrossed in the story. These are the books that make you lose all sense of time. I enjoyed reading these books and couldn't put them down. It was like the author has cast a spell on me. I was totally invested in the characters and the story. If you are prepared to lose some sleep, then look no further than these books, which I'm sure you cannot put down once you begin. So without further ado, let's get started. The first book is The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. This was a magical story, both happy and dark. I loved it so much. The book is a short one, only 181 pages, but it has everything that you expect from Neil Gaiman. Fun, fantasy, magic and a little darkness. The story follows a middle-aged man who returns to his hometown for a funeral. His childhood home is long gone, but he visits the farm at the end of the lane, where he remembers some strange and dark events from when he was seven. Gamer's books are always so enjoyable. He paints such vivid pictures with his words that it is impossible not to visualize the scenes in your head. I highly recommend reading his books and this one is a fast-paced one sitting read that you will definitely enjoy. The second book is We Have Always Lived in the Castle by Shirley Jackson. If creepy books are your thing, then drop everything and read this book. This is the first book I have read from this author and I fell in love with her storytelling. From page 1 it is clear that there is something terribly off with the Blackwood household. But you have to race till the end to find out how things unfold. This incredible dark tale tells the story of the survivors of the Blackwood family. The narrator Mary Cat, her eldest sister Constance and their ailing uncle Julian who live in a large estate which is a bit isolated from the rest of the village. Six years ago, Mary Cat's parents, aunt and younger brother died due to being poisoned at dinner. Who is the culprit? And what will the town do to the rest of the survivors? This book is short, bizarre, strange, formidable, sinister, haunting and simply unputdownable. This chillingly terrifying book will keep you hooked till the end. The next book is The Complete Persepolis by Marjan Satrapi. This is a graphic novel and autobiographical one. The author Marjan Satrapi depicts her childhood up to early adult years in Iran during and after Islamic revolution. In between, she spends her high school years in Vienna far away from her family. The book highlights the struggles that Iranian people had to go through. It is hard not to read Persepolis in one sitting. Marjan Satrapi's charming, gut-wrenching memoir of a childhood during wartime is so captivating. I love the author's honest explorations of the political upheavals and the insights that she gave me into her culture and beliefs. I just couldn't stop once I started reading. Highly recommended. The next book is I Let You Go by Claire McIntosh. It is a trend these days for suspense novels to have an absolutely shocking plot twist. But this well-crafted novel makes your jaw drop time and again. But still it doesn't feel out of place, gimmicky or manipulative. On a dark rainy night, a mother lets go of her son's hand just for an instant. The devastating accident sets Jenna Gray's world into nightmare. Desperate to escape, Jenna moves to a remote cottage on the Welsh coast but she is haunted by her fears and her grief. Slowly, Jenna begins to rebuild her life, but soon her past catches up with her. I was stunned by the twist as I realized that the story wasn't what I thought it was. It is such an emotional roller coaster of a book. 
partly police procedural and partly domestic suspense, this psychological thriller will keep you hooked by its mind-boggling twists and turns. The next book is The House in the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Bloom. This is such a beautiful and heartwarming read. The central character Linus is a person that many of us can relate to. Linus leads a solitary life with only his cat and his work to keep him company. His job is to ensure that the magical children living in the government-run orphanages are well taken care of. He is sent to Marcellus Land Orphanage for a special assignment. The orphanage houses a group of magical children who may bring the end of the world. Little did Linus knew that his life is about to change as he finally finds a place which may be home. The book is a pure delight. It is sweet, entertaining and heartwarming story which will keep you hooked till the end. The book is beautifully written and full of humor and whims with a touch of romance. I have also done a detailed review of this book, do check it out. The next book is Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reads. This is my first book by the author and all I can say is, wow, I am definitely going to check her other books. The story follows the four children of the legendary and famous singer Mick Reva. Mick cannot stay loyal despite her marriage and later remarriage to the kind-hearted June. The only good thing that comes out of their marriage is their children, Nina, Jay and later Kit. Added to the mix is Mick's illegitimate son, Hud, whom June lovingly raises as her own son. The Reva children, now all grown up, have never known a life in which Mick was physically present or involved. They are completely dependent on each other to navigate life. But they all have found ways to survive and thrive. Nina is now a supermodel, Jay a champion surfer and Hud a renowned photographer. It is Nina's big annual party to celebrate the end of summer. But during the course of next 24 hours, their lives will completely change forever. The story keeps bouncing between the past and the present. I love both the storylines equally as both were compelling in their own way. It is a light and entertaining read. The awesome setting, pristine writing, family melodrama and the colourful and vibrant characters will keep you engaged in the story till the end. The next book is Before the Coffee Gets Cold by Toshikachu Kawaguchi. This beautifully written, slow-paced novel is about time travel. It is a quick read which will take the readers to a mysterious cafe where its patrons are able to time travel on the condition that they must return before the coffee gets cold. The novel has four stories with characters wanting to seek closure, assure loved ones or reconcile past arguments with the help of time travel. It is a unique take on time travel with heartfelt stories that remind us to express our love and concern to our loved ones while we still can. This is a quick read but a captivating and memorable one. The next book is The Name of the Game is Kidnapping by Kiyago Higashino. This is unlike Higashino's other books but will still keep you captivated from the beginning. It is a fast-paced and crisp novel with a big twist at the end. Sakuma is a high-profile ad agent who is about to land the biggest project of his career. When his project idea gets dismissed for not being good enough, he feels slighted and draws revenge. What starts off as a vengeful act of kidnapping a business tycoon's daughter turns into a complex web of trickery and cheat for Sakuma. This is a battle of wits between two highly smart people. A highly engaging crime thriller with a big twist at the end. The next book is It Ends With Her by Colleen Hoover. This is one of those books that will stay with you long after you have read it. It is such a beautiful and heartbreaking book. After a rough childhood, Lily comes to Boston and starts her business. When she meets Ryle, a neurosurgeon, sparks fly. But Ryan doesn't want anything more than a one-night stand. While Lily wonders if there could be a relationship between her and Ryan, she couldn't stop thinking about her first love, Atlas. When Atlas reappears in her life, things get even more complicated for her. From the blurb, it came across as a simple love story, but the book is so much more. This devastating story is about forgiveness, empathy, understanding 
and impossible choices. This is not a fun and light-hearted read at all. It is such an emotional and heartbreaking book with such an important message. This is a story about the choices that a woman makes. It is such a beautiful and heartbreaking story that you simply cannot put down. I highly recommend reading this one. This one is a must read. And the last book is The Maidens by Alex Michaelitz. The Maidens is the latest book by Alex Michaelitz, who is the best-selling author of The Silent Patient. The book follows the story of Mariana, a grieving widow whose husband Sebastian had died due to drowning the year before. Mariana visits Cambridge when her niece's best friend is brutally murdered. The dead girl was a member of the Maidens, a secret society of beautiful girls led by Professor Fosca. Mariana immediately suspects Professor Fosca and is obsessed with proving his guilt. This darkly intense and beautifully written novel set in academia will keep you invested till the final reveal. I have also done a detailed review of this book. You can check it out. So these were 10 unputdownable books that I have recently read. Have you read any of these? If yes, then do share your thoughts in the comment section. And if you have enjoyed this video, then please like, comment and share. And if you want to see more such videos, then please subscribe to my channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified every time I post a new video. Until my next video, bye and take care.